Southern Fried Chicken. Okay, today I'm going to take a little look at that um, elusive um, recipe for the perfect coating to make Southern Fried Chicken. And it doesn't matter whether you're making um, chicken breasts, chicken goujons, um, chicken thighs, chicken drumsticks, whatever you want to coat, you want to get that perfect Southern Fried Chicken flavour. The sort of one that they use in the takeout shops. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to expose the secret recipe to get the perfect southern fried chicken. So we have some ingredients um, down here that are pretty much going to um, make up the southern fried chicken coating. And these ingredients along with some plain flour are all you need to make that perfect coating coat your southern fried chicken. It's dead simple to do. Okay, I'm going to show you how to put these together. It's just a simple case of mixing it all into the flour. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to get ourselves a container. Um, this container, make sure it's got a lid on it, alright? Um, so you're going to need the lid uh, later on. I'll explain why. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to try and get 80 grams now of plain flour into this container. Let's see if we can get it done pretty accurately there you go 80 grams spot on and all we need to do is to add these ingredients into the flour in their specific quantities and we will have the perfect perfect southern fried chicken coating okay I'll put the quantities and the ingredients up on the screen now for you to take a look at and we'll get these all combined together nice and quickly First of all, we get the chicken stock cube in. Just crunch him up with your fingers. Okay, then we're going to go with our garlic salt um, and we're going to put one teaspoon of this. Onion granules, same amount. Smoked paprika. Okay, make sure that this is smoked paprika, okay? You can use normal stuff, but this smoked paprika is what's going to give it that kind of barbecue flavour. So it's really important to use the proper stuff, okay? We want two teaspoons of this. Big lumpy ones, if you like. You're going to want some sage. Now sage is a classic um, flavour that goes with chicken anyway. So we're going to want a nice good teaspoon of sage straight into there. And thyme. We're going to want some thyme, as in the herd. Okay, my teaspoon doesn't quite fit in the jar. So we'll use half a teaspoon. Okay, so you want one good teaspoon of thyme. You're going to want half a teaspoon of just salt, okay, standard kitchen salt into there. You're going to want a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. Now, some people will use um, white pepper, and I guess that's fine. But if you want this recipe to work the way that it works for me, I suggest sticking to my quantities and my ingredients okay so one quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper and I'm going to add um, I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder to this as well um, and this just to give the, the flour a little bit more of a, a sort of a thicker um, sort of coating on the um, on the chickens okay and so those ingredients in there are all you're going to need to make the perfect southern fried chicken we're going to mix that together now with a fork so just get your fork, okay, and mix these ingredients up. You know, and that already smells pretty good. And when it's cooked, once the chicken is coated in that and it's fried off, whoa, you're going to be hard pushed to beat this recipe for a perfect southern fried chicken coat, I can tell you. So for your chicken, um, like I said earlier on, I am just going to use chicken breast. Um, I'm going to cut these up into a crazy sort of rough um, chicken pieces and I'm going to marinate them and do it that way but if you want to you can use um, chicken drumsticks for this 
chicken wings, any kind of chicken you like really. It's all about the marinade that we made up earlier. Okay, so um, with the chicken, remember it is raw meat, so make sure you've got some water, wash your hands after um, you've processed this stuff. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off um, by getting out just basically your chicken. I'm gonna cut him up into little pieces, but there's a little secret to how this works. If I can open it. Yay. Got some pretty decent sized chickens there. Um, again, go and wash your hands once again. And then, the secret to getting this to work properly is to get yourself a container of cold water and we're going to put the chickens in the cold water before we uh, marinate them or coat them with our secret spice recipe. And that's all there is pretty much to it. Major spice mix which isn't as difficult as it's often made out to be. Uh, you know, a dozen simple ingredients. Um, you've cut your chicken up and you've got it prepped and soaking in some water. All we need to do then is we're just going to cook them. Now I'm doing this on quite a small scale, so um, if you're going to do it on a bigger scale, just double these quantities. But I've got about 350, 400 millilitres of, of oil here, cooking oil. Um, any sort of oil will do really, as long as it's enough just to sort of cook them in. Um, half fill a small pan um, which I have on the stove here. So we're going to bring that to a nice um, temperature of about 180, 160 to 180 degrees. Okay, so when you drop the chickens in, as soon as they hit the oil, they just start to sort of sizzle. So what you want to do while that oil is heating up now is get your chickens and um, whatever you're going to be using drumstick size or in this case um, chicken um, goujon sizes. You want to get them into the secret spice mix and don't you want them as wet as possible really so that it really adheres because I'm only going to be able to do like batches of probably five at a time in this pan. If you're going to do them in, in bigger quantities, yeah use more oil, bigger pan, stick 18 at a time. But I'm only going to do five at a time. Um, so we want to get them into the mix. But when you get them out of the water, don't just take them out and drain them. Straight out and into the mix, even if you get a bit of water in there. Give it a good old shake. Uh, with the lid on, obviously, because it's going to go everywhere. Give it a good old shake. And if you need to get your hands in and turn it over, you can do that. But if they were wet enough, this We'll have coated them in a nice big gloopy coating of our spices. Look at them. Oh, they're going to fry beautiful. So once this oil is hot enough, um, which is round about hot enough now, we can start dropping these in. And like I said, just going to drop them in about four, maybe five at a time, okay? So these should take around about 10, 12 minutes or so to cook. Maybe up to 15, depends how hot you've got your oil. But you're gonna need a slotted spoon, and then when they're cooked, roughly around about when they're floating in the oil, you can scoop them out. They should be a nice golden brown um, color, a nice texture on them. And then you can put them in an oven, a holding oven, at about 100 degrees, while you cook the rest of the little monkeys. So, 10 minutes into the cooking, and these little monkeys are cooked and ready to go into a holding oven. But first of all, we're just gonna pop them into um, a sieve with some blue paper, just to drain that excess oil off. They look absolutely fantastic. Gonna taste delicious.
Okay, and that's it. Southern fried chicken in a nutshell. Um, you've got my secret uh, ingredients, my secret recipe for the coating. So get that made up and um, give this chicken a try. See what you think. It tastes really delicious. All you need is a, um, a southern, nice thick southern fried chicken gravy, which I've made in a previous video. So give that a try as well. Make this, uh, make this up, and you've got the recipe for a perfect southern fried chicken experience. Enjoy. Spark on, southern fried chicken. Enjoy.